So, uh, yeah, I'm back in the commentary box and uh, we are waiting for the next race, uh, which will be uh, the V1600 and ABC race. Uh, I'm here and the cars are leaving the pits. Uh, here we see them as well. Uh, so, I think in around five minutes or so, uh, we'll be ready for the second and last race of V1600 and ABC race, uh, not only for today, but for the season as well. So get ready, uh, get some get some snacks, get some drinks, and uh, let's enjoy this next race in just a few minutes. So we see the cars <coughs> are uh, on the grid. I think all the cars uh, are already on the grid. We heard the five minute signal. Uh, that means we will be starting five minutes. Uh, here is the onboard of uh, Arrivis Melans. He's going into this race uh, still as the championship leader with 174 points, but only six points behind him is Ernest Eglitis. And if Eglitis uh, wins and uh, Melans is second, then uh, these six points won't be enough and uh, Eglitz will be crowned champion by one point. So uh, Melans has to finish in front of Eglitis. Or uh, easier to say, 
uh, the driver who will be in front uh, will get the title. Uh, of course, if somebody gets ahead of them, uh, like uh, with Turans, for example, who starts third, uh, then, uh, of course, the dynamic changes a little bit. Uh, then I think if Eglitz finishes second and uh, uh, Mayland finishes third, then that's enough for Mayland. So, uh, yeah, still still a lot of happening. Uh, still a lot of happening there. And uh, about the ABC race. About the ABC race. Let's uh, check that. Uh, so uh, Christoph Sleipnix uh, was second in the first race and uh, goes into this race with 202 uh, points. And uh, the second placed, uh, second place Jans Hans uh, goes into the race with 184 points. So 18 points between them. And uh, yeah, in ABC race the points are quite close. Uh, so uh, the winner gets 25, second 21, then 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. So point by point. So uh, the only uh, mathematical uh, possibility for Hans uh, to win the championship title uh, is to be at least second and uh, Leipnix uh, without points. So uh, yeah, Leipnix has to uh, drop off the race for Jans Hans to have a chance uh, for the championship title. Uh, so let's see uh, how that will play out, uh, and uh, I think that was the three-minute uh, warning. Uh, so we have a time uh, to go to go through the uh, starting grid. We saw that I think previously uh, on the screen, but uh, let's quickly go. So uh, first row, the two title contenders from for V uh, for V sixteen hundred. Anders Zeglitis and Rives Melans. Uh, then we have Elvis Durans, Narvitz Rumbans, and uh, Lel Dembovsk. That's the five V1600 cars. And uh, an ABC race, we see Tiago Carvalho from uh, Brazil will starting uh, will be starting from the front. Uh, Christer Salic right behind, uh, beside him. Then comes Robert Zozo and Artus Danilevskis. Then we have Christoph Stikutz and Daria Septemberg, uh, Naur Sagafonos. And then the two contenders, Jans Hans and Christoph Leibniz, and from the back, uh, Daniel Sungurs, the winner of race one. Let's see what Hans Leibniz and Ungurs can do in this race, how far ahead uh, can they come, uh, and uh, yeah, how far uh, can they get. That's uh, the right uh, wording for that. As uh, yeah, uh, Carvalho is fast. Let's see if he is fast in these uh, wet conditions. Uh, I didn't check the lap times of the previous race, but... Uh, Anyway, uh, anyway, it will be an interesting race, that's uh, for sure. And uh, some work going on there uh, by Eglitis' car. Uh, I don't know what was happening there. I think that's that's not the scrutineers, that's the team. So uh, let's hope that everything is all right. Uh, shout out also to the grid girls. Uh, looking uh, good as always, uh, especially in these wet conditions. So <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's not easy for uh, uh, them as well uh, and uh, I think it's not easy for the drivers for it's not easy for everybody for anybody in this uh, in these wet conditions uh, and uh, yeah especially of course uh, for the spectators as well but uh, great uh, that so many have come here to Riga despite the weather and of course uh, great to uh, great to see uh, everybody uh, on uh, the live stream as well and uh, we're going on to the warm-up lap And here we see the contenders, Hans and Leibniz, uh, two Yaris's, uh, Hans with the uh, pink, uh, pink mirrors, uh, Leibniz with these, yeah, lemon green, lemon green uh, mirrors. And uh, there we have the winner of race one, that is uh, Daniel Songurs. Of course, it won't be easy for him to get the win in the second race. Uh, but yeah, that's the beauty of, uh, of the qualifying lottery <laughs> for, or the, or the grid lottery. Uh, for the drivers. As they are, yeah, on 
and of course we see how much water there is on the track, especially uh, on the on the new tarmac uh, where it doesn't, yeah, uh, flow or. Yeah, but uh, of course uh, it's it's better on this old old tarmac. More grip there. And as I spoke with some some drivers uh, during the lunch break, uh, they said that yeah, on the old tarmac doesn't matter. That there's grip everywhere <laughs> on the racing line, on the inside, in the middle. But it's really really sketchy uh, on the on the new tarmac. So uh, let's hope for a nice race here uh, once again. Okay, we see that the safety car is right behind them. And uh, here we see uh, all the cars coming up uh, through the Motor Museum uh, corner. And we have the camera uh, back, that's nice to see. Uh, we have the camera back, so let's see what will happen on this second race. As I said, uh, I think the biggest fight uh, should be between Eglitz and Maylands. For the Baltic Championship title in V1600 class, Eglit is going in this race from first position, uh, Maylands from second. And still something, yeah, that's that's alarming that they still check something on uh, on uh, Eglit's car. Is is or was that? I hope that was somebody from the scrutineers because I don't think the team members are allowed uh, on the grid. Uh, okay, yeah, they're, they're scrutineers. Okay, uh, so uh, they're checking. That's alarming a little bit, I think, for Ernest Eglitis, uh, because uh, why are his lights out? Is his car out? W what is happening with Eglitis uh, in his car? S something, uh, something isn't definitely right uh, here, but we have the five-second uh, signal, and uh, let's hope he can, uh, yeah, put the lights on somehow, because that's mandatory in these wet races. Uh, and we are looking at the uh, at the lights, and we have five lights, and uh, I think that's a false start, or not, by Eglitis. The race is on, but something was definitely wrong. I think Eglitis did get a false start, and uh, uh, we will see that, of course, uh, a little bit later. And Turans has gone by, Rives Melon, so a chaot chaotic, uh, chaotic uh, start here. At the second race of V1600 and ABC races, what happened? And that's a big slide there by Maylands, and he is down to third position. So, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty uh, different conditions here uh, as in the first race. It was wet in the first race as well, but not so wet uh, right now. Uh, no, it was dry at the beginning, so it was starting to rain only in the, at the end. So, uh, yeah, completely different uh, conditions, but uh, what? was there in the start. Maybe I didn't see something right, but Rives Melans uh, struggling here uh, right now in third position, has lost out to Elvis Turans and his championship hopes are sliding out of his hands at this moment as uh, we are looking at the soundboard, but I think yeah, nothing, nothing unfortunately to see there this time, but uh, we see that the ABC race cars are really, really close uh, really close to the V1600 cars, uh, that is Krister Selinch right now in the lead Artur Danilevskis in uh, second place and uh, Tiago Krivalju, I think, is in third place. Then comes uh, Stikuts and Melans looking out the inside there against uh, Turans and he goes by. He is on the inside line and I think he has done the move uh, on Turans and will right now try to defend coming into Motor Museum uh, corner there. Uh, Zegli, this is out front here uh, and Melans struggling there. And there is a false start noted for both BMWs, for uh, Ernest Eglitz and for uh, number 888 for Elvis Turans. So, uh, wow, uh, that is some new drama here. But, uh, yeah, they from our side it looked like that. And here we see Elvis Turans struggling, struggling with the pace. And Krister Salinch and Dan Levskis, uh, two ABC race cars trying to overtake him, uh, going really wide. And, of course, on the, on the straight, Turans is faster, but something isn't right with his car, I think or with the grip level uh, on his car because the ABC race cars are right behind him and right now he's like a bit of a, a cork in the in the bottle uh, against then Danievskis uh, goes by Krister Salinch and there we have Jans Hans already uh, made up so much places up to third position right now tries to go on the inside of Salinch a little bit of contact there between Turans and Danievskis and uh, Danievskis goes by and whoa, what is happening there Turans 
without any grip there, without any grip and holding up some ABC race cars, maybe some issue with his car. And uh, yeah, he's right in the middle of the ABC race pack. And uh, I think that's, that's uh, yeah, we will see a bit, a bit later what happens with his car, but uh, not, not looking good right now. Hans up to P2, I think, uh, goes by Danilevskis and everybody goes by uh, Elvis Turan. So uh, something isn't, isn't right there. And, uh, and we see that the Maylands is up on the tail of uh, Eglitz right now. Christer Selinc uh, back in the lead of ABC race, so he likes these conditions. Uh, here we see Hans has gone by uh, Danilevskis and uh, Leibniz is trying to do that as well, I think. Uh, he's right behind there. So great fight, great fights, and I think we can, uh, yeah, we can try to, to, to look at this fight and we can try to look at the ABC race fight because it's uh, so much fun, so much fun uh, going on here. Uh, as we are uh, seeing once again the inside shot uh, of Darius Melans uh, and Ernest Eglitz and uh, yeah uh, we don't know and I don't think uh, Melans has some radio communication so he won't know that uh, Ernest Eglitz has has a false start noted not yet a penalty uh, but it is noted that he and uh, and uh, Durant uh, had a false start possibly possibly a false start so maybe some some nerves getting there and uh, okay we have Hans and Leibniz back to the front Krister Salinch third place Danilevski is third place so the championship leaders within uh, within two laps uh, they are from the back to the front what an achievement there uh, by the two championship leaders so they are so much faster I think than everybody else right now in these uh, treacherous uh, conditions here in Riga at the Riga Grand Finals, uh, Bitternik Circuit. Oh, and Hans goes off track. Janis Hans, the contender, goes off track, and I don't didn't see if there was some contact or not. But uh, some other cars going uh, wide there as well, and uh, I don't know. Maybe we can see a replay of that or not. But uh, the new leader of the race is then uh, Kristaps Leipnitz. They were going uh, almost side by side there in the f uh, in the second corner, in the elbow corner. But uh, I don't know if there was contact or not. And uh, Ungers has gone. Uh, uh, really close to the leaders as well of, uh, right from the back of the pack uh, so dramatic race there uh, for the ABC uh, ABC race championship as we have a dramatic race here in the front as well and uh, look, wow in the dry uh, the, the V1600 cars were so much faster than the ABC race cars but right now see, we can see that I think Leibniz is catching up with V1600 cars and maybe there will be a fight uh, yeah they have uh, less power uh, i think the abc race cars have around 70 75 horsepower the v1600 cars have around 120 horsepower or 30 and uh yeah in these conditions uh, the semi slicks aren't working as well it looks like uh, as the normal tires on the abc race cars so they have normal street tires uh, i don't remember the brand but yeah just just normal cheap tires oh and there's looked like some small now that's water just coming from back of the car of Leibniz but he's under pressure from Danilevskis uh, so uh, yeah uh, Hans uh, back I think he is in the back of the field haven't seen yeah we, we will see that after this lap how far uh, back he is uh, but right now yeah uh, of course Leibniz has to be careful in the fight against Danilevskis he doesn't have to win this race so uh, if there will be a move by Danilevskis, uh, it would be smart of uh, Leibniz to just let Danilevskis go and don't risk his championship uh, at this point. Of course, Hans is so far back that, uh, yeah, he won't, he hasn't got a chance right now. Uh, because, uh, as I said before the race, Hans has to finish at least second or higher and hope that Leibniz doesn't finish. But uh, right now, here we see Danilevskis almost pushing Leibniz, so I don't think Leibniz... Uh, has to take risks in this one. Uh, he's he's a pretty smart fellow, uh, fella, <laughs> and uh, he should know that. But maybe it's just the principle to get that win against Danilevskis. Uh, they have had some uh, fights. Uh, I think yeah, one week ago in another race uh, in a hundred-minute endurance race, they were fighting for the win there as well uh, with with some uh, cheeky moves. And I think that's uh, yeah maybe a little bit of uh, principle from uh, Leipnik there just to get the win and show that he's not only uh, the fastest uh, that he's not only the fastest throughout the season but also today but there is yeah the move coming up from Danilevskis he is on the inside and I think Leibniz yeah, will let that go uh, it, it looks like he will that let, let that go Daniel Sungur's right behind him and we are here we have Robert Zuzolinch 
uh, standing uh, in the track, so uh, he has spin, uh, spin around. Where is that? It is after the bridge, after the bridge corner, so uh, not a nice uh, place to be right now. I hope that he can continue because if he stays there, that, that will be maybe uh, yeah, some, some issues, big issues there. And we have uh, the decisions from, uh, I think we have the decisions from, oh, and that's as almost a spin there by, uh, by Melans uh, fighting against uh, Eglitis. Uh, oh, and he will uh, lose out there. But uh, we have a race director's decision, I think. Uh, and it is a false start for Eglitis, and it is a false start for Turans. And, oh, and it's getting heavier, heavier the rain. And it's plus 20 seconds to race time for Eglitis. So, uh, Melans has to be within 20 seconds and he will be the Baltic champion. And, well, it's torrential rain right now on the track. Everybody has to tiptoe and uh, try to stay on track. But I haven't seen this. I don't know. I haven't seen such conditions at Bitternieke circuit in uh, race conditions here. Ah, uh, what is happening? What is happening? We see that, uh, yeah, Eglitis is slowing down and the ABC race cars are just flying by. So, the... the Semi slicks aren't working at all here. Let's hope that they all can finish. We have six laps left. Uh, we have double waved yellows. Where is the car of Wozol? It's still there on the bridge corner. So, wow, what? <sighs> I'm a bit speechless right now uh, about the drama, what is happening here. I hope that everybody comes safely through here. Uh, we have uh, six laps, uh, laps left, and the new leaders of the race are. Uh, the ABC race cars, we see Danilevsk's out front, Ungur second, uh, third we have, I didn't see, I think Stikuts, uh, fourth is Leipniz, uh, Danilevsk is against Ungur's two teammates uh, going against each other, and that is Arvids Rumbans off the track, that's in the first uh, corner, I think, uh, but he comes back, so, uh, oh, torrential rain here, it's, it's, yeah, tropical rain almost, and here we see the fight, uh, Mailand doesn't know, doesn't know that, uh, uh, Eglitz has a 20 second penalty. I think that he doesn't know that. So that's why he's still fighting for his life. And this is this. I think it's a safety car. Yeah, it looks like it's a safety car on track. Yeah, it's a safety car uh, because these conditions aren't safe. And there's the car of Robert Zozo standing uh, on the track. And uh, I hope that everybody will see these uh, yellow, yellow flags and slow down and see the safety car. Come on, guys. You have to lift. You have to lift. You have to lift. And uh, Stikuts doing an overtake here. Uh, will they see the safety car? Can we have maybe the first or no? The safe. Where is the safety car? Okay, it's uh, okay. Uh, but I think Stikuts made a move before the safety car. I don't know if there were any flags or not. Who? I think this is the right decision. Uh, yeah, it's so heavy raining and uh, Melans still doesn't know that his main rival in the championship has a 20 second uh, uh, time penalty. So uh, let's see if we will finish uh, behind the safety car or not. Uh, first thing I uh, will be uh, removing, uh, of course, the car of Robert Zuzonj, which is standing uh, behind the bridge, uh, behind the bridge corner. And here we see so much water on track, especially on this new tarmac crazy conditions I uh, I have been coming to beat an excerpt I think for almost uh, 20 years I've been commentating events here yeah for six seven years I've never seen such rain uh, during during a race of course we have had rain here in Riga uh, but but not not during a race yeah, it's, it's completely wet and Melans is, is looking and at, at the and he knows it looks like he knows uh, that uh, Eglitz has a penalty. So, uh, so uh, yeah, he was he was cheering. <laughs> it looks like, or he wanted to uh, show that. Come on, let's go on with the racing. I want to. Ca I want to. He was cheering. Okay, so somehow uh, maybe he saw it on the pit board uh, that. And here is Robert Zuzolinc. Yeah, he's not happy. Somehow he couldn't start the car after the uh, after the contact with something, or after the spin, and he's out of the race. We have had some cars off the track as well, and uh, yeah, the, the main story I think is that uh, the ABC race cars are leading this race ahead of V1600 uh, on on dry con. 
on dry conditions, of course, the V1600 cars are a few uh, laps, a uh, few seconds faster. Uh, uh, but yeah, right now on the on the wet conditions. So we see, still see uh, the safety cars, uh, safety car on the track. And uh, yeah, the leader right now is Daniel Sungurs, uh, Kristaps Sikuts in second, uh, Artus Danielevskis in third, uh, Leipnik in fourth, uh, that's the top four. Uh, Janis Hans is in eighth position uh, overall, and I think that means in sixth position uh, in class in ABC race and uh, four laps left I don't know if we will resume or not uh, I assume we can there is a possibility that we will uh, drive the laps to the end but uh, I will keep you updated with the information but uh, but right now right now right now right now uh, so yeah, I'm I'm hearing some voices in my headset <laughs> that I shouldn't hear, uh, but uh, yeah, right now they are all driving uh, behind each other in a beautiful, beautiful row here. Uh, yeah, big question: What happened uh, to Elvis Turan's car? Because he did slow down. Maybe he didn't. No, it looks like he could. He can see uh, through through the uh, windshield. Yeah, still the car. I think nobody will recover the car from here right now. So, uh, and it is in a really uh, dangerous pos position. So I don't think uh, we will restart the race. Uh, I think we have to go over 75% to get full points. So that means uh, eight laps. We have to drive eight laps. We have driven six laps. This is the seventh. So this and another lap, and I think we will. Uh, from my point of view, we will red flag uh, the race because it doesn't make sense to just uh, drive around behind the safety car if we are not planning to restart it. And uh, yeah, uh, if everything stays uh, the same here, then we will have two new champions uh, to crown. Uh, Rives Melans will uh, get the championship title in a V1600 class. Anastasia Glitz will be second, and in ABC race, the new champion, or the first Latvian champion in ABC race, because this is the first season for ABC race that they have a Latvian championship st status. Before that, it was a Latvian Cup. Uh, so yeah, the first ABC race champion will be Kristaps Sleipnix. Uh, and I think it's a little bit fitting because he was the first ABC race uh, winner uh, when it was in a Latvian Cup status in 2000. Uh, let's check. 2000. 18. Uh, I have to count back a little bit. Uh, when was the first ABC race season? Or maybe 2019. I think it was 2019. Uh, let's. We, yeah, I have time right now as everybody is driving, uh, driving behind the safety car. So, yeah, 2019 was the first full season uh, of ABC race. And, uh, yep, Kristaps Sleipnik was the first uh, winner of the Latvian Cup of ABC race. And it looks like he will be the first champion of ABC race, as it has a uh, Latvian championship status. As I said before, uh, it's still raining quite a lot, so the, the rain isn't easing up. Uh, we have still still have uh, three laps to go and it looks like uh, we will uh, we will have a finish so uh, I would I will quickly check with with my colleague who is getting information uh, from the uh, track marshals So, uh, yeah, uh, as I said before, they will uh, get to the 75% uh, of the race distance, which will be eight laps. And uh, 
Everybody will follow the safety car into the finish and uh, they will get the finish flag. Finish flag uh, on, on the start finish line. Uh, so uh, that means congrats uh, to, as I said before, Rives Melans and uh, to Christoph Leibniz. And of course, uh, I will, despite the rain, I will be tough and I will be going to interview them in Park Ferme. Uh, I think I'll, I'll uh, stick to champions. Uh, Melans and uh, Leibniz there. I, I, I'm sure both will be pretty happy about this. So let's uh, wait for them uh, to cross the start finish line as they are coming right now. And of course, congratulations to Daniel Sungurs. Uh, two races, two race wins in ABC. So he will be on the top spot of the podium uh, in ABC race. Yeah, uh, a lot of championship talks, but uh, sorry, Daniels, I remembered. I remembered. You are the winner of last round, two races, two wins. Great achievement. Kristaps Stikuts finishes second, Danielewski's third, and uh, Leipnik's fourth. Uh, so uh, we will see. We will see uh, afterwards uh, what the podium will look like, but for sure, Ungers on top step. Uh, for the others, I don't know. I don't want to calculate. Congratulations, uh, Rives Melans uh, finishes first after the penalty of Ernest Seglitis. Uh, in V1600 class and uh, is so uh, is also uh, the champion, new champion of V1600. So uh, that's that, and uh, I'll go to the Park Ferme. And uh, next race afterwards will be the BTC 123, and there's also a championship on the line. So stay tuned, and I'll be in the Park Ferme, and then I'll be back here and uh, enjoy the highlights. I think. And uh, yeah, it's still raining, it's still <laughs> raining a lot, but uh, we have here the winners of this second race, uh, Daniel Sungurs. Uh, yeah, uh, take the helmet off so we can hear you maybe a little bit better. But uh, yeah, perfect result for him. Uh, two races, uh, two wins, and uh, great job by him at the end of the season. I don't know what's in the standings, if he will jump up to third place or not, uh, but still he'll be happy. Uh, 
Daniels, congratulations. In Latvian or English? We can do English, yeah? Okay, so uh, it looks like you really did great on the wet. Uh, two races, two wins. Yeah, yeah, so full weekend. Very nice weekend, but uh, in the uh, Championship 10 weeks, uh, I'm only fourth because Tikots finished second. But anyway, so very good race. Uh, um, two races, two wins. Uh, but actually, I wanted, wanted to finish the race, not under the safety car. But anyways, uh, too much danger. Uh, so, yeah, it's too wet. But anyways, feels good. Congrats on the weekend. Thank you. Congrats to Daniels. Uh, really great, great showing there. And uh, let's try to find the champions. Let's try to find the champions uh, of ABC race and of uh, V1600 as well. So, uh, Kristaps, Kristaps Leipniks, you have to smile. You are the new champion of ABC race, the first Latvian champion of ABC race. How did the race go and how did the weekend go? Uh, actually, the main point was the first run because in the first run I, uh, I needed to to build some gap uh, with the points uh, from the Hans and uh, basically second run was uh, j like just to reach the finish line and uh, th I had so like many points in the, uh, between us so yeah but uh, uh, the weather was quite crazy and uh, actually in the few moments I thought oh, oh my god how the, the Formula 1 drivers can manage some uh, uh, something like this so yeah uh, race was uh, good. Uh, emotions was uh, quite a lot uh, uh, from the yesterday as well. So, yeah, I'm quite happy in the end of this uh, in the, in the end of the season. And uh, yeah, uh, a good result for me. What was going on in your mind when you saw Danielewski's right behind you? It looked like a really close fight at some point. Ah, uh, you know, I I thought Arthur's. You can take it. <laughs> I need few points, not uh, 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 like not more. Uh, it's enough for me. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. In 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 this run, I I draw in the like uh, safe mode. So so yeah. Okay. Congrats and enjoy. Yeah. Thank you. So that was Kristaps Leipnik, and let's try to get uh, Rives Melans, uh, the winner of V1600 class, and of course the champion of V1600. Can we go so far? We can go so far. Okay. Rivis. We will quickly have a live on the live stream an interview. Rivis Melans. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, Rivis will talk Latvian. I will translate to you. Rivis trucks brauciens otrais. Baig trakais. Trakākais manā mūžais, tā teiksu. Jā, neko neredz vispār. Pilnīgi varēs onboard pastīties. Neko nevar redzēt, bet nu Ja veiksmīgi apsāks sakatība, Ernesta Kļūda un tu 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 čempions. Nu sajūts fantastisks, vai ne, jā, bet jā. smags, smags darbs izsezonas garumā. Jā, ļoti smags, protams, un uh, daudz investēts gan laiks, gan nauda, un uh, es jūtos ļoti priecīgs par šo. <laughs> Tā kā, jā, paldies tev. Apsaicu. Jā, paldies. So, Rajus Melans, of course, really, really happy. He said, uh, yeah, he's, he's so happy that he will speak Latvija at this point, but... Uh, well earned, well earned championship title, uh, V1600. Yeah, unfortunate mistake there by Ernest Segleitz on the start, and uh, he he doesn't want to come out of the car, and uh, of course he is, I assume, angry at himself, unfortunately. But that's racing, that's that can happen, and uh, yeah, some some mixed emotions, happy people, not so happy people, and uh, that's that's it from the park for me, and uh, we are moving on to the next races.